Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's the way. So you see here's the something I have been used okay. Okay, in this drop down list. So those are available. I think most of um, uh, peer reviewed journals okay. and uh, style, citing style, they are available from this full list. Okay. okay, so you just need to copy to your favorites, then you can get your style here. It's not very clear. There is a small copy to favorites button here. So you can add to your list. Uh, the limitation is 25 okay. items. Okay. Okay, from the from your account, you can see all your works will show up from um, under all my references. And you can distribute your references to, you can create your own groups for different research topics. Okay, for example, like here, I created some topics like science publication, um, samples, or you can create a more others a publication or for your research topics. You can create your own group and then trans, uh, distribute your citation information to different groups for your organization. So, under format, just like we have seen, you can select the groups of your citation information, then organize it under a specific <coughs> citation style, okay? Re regarding what kind of <coughs> style you want to be used, okay? You can select the style you want from the um, favorites list I have showed. Um, so, because it's kind of slow to show the database stuff. Let me pull out the web of knowledge. For example, if you're working in <coughs> database like Web of Knowledge, or other EBSCO database, okay? You can easily click on end the web button to um, export your article database, uh, article information to your end the web account, okay? So if you click on that, It will take a little bit of time, but the information will show up under your account in a few seconds. Another great thing is in the web also works with Google Scholar. So under scholar preferences, you can check the last option on the bottom of the page. It's called the bibliography manager, okay? At default, you, it will be on the do not show any citation import links. Here we can switch to show links to import citations into EndNote. Okay, as our option here, and then save preferences. Next time, when you do the search, <coughs> you will see importing to any web, this option show up on the bottom of the article. Okay, when you click on this link, <coughs> This small file will be, will be asked to save to your hard drive. And you can just click on save file. And then you go to EndNote Web. Also, 
Go to collect menu. Then you will see the import, re import uh, references option here. And then you just need to upload the files we have saved here. Browse the, <coughs> browse the file we have saved, then upload here. And then also the import option here is also, it's obviously you just need to click, uh, choose the EndNote import as the option here. Then choose where you want to import to. You want to import to your general list or import to a specific group you have created. Okay. Then click on import, your file will be uploaded to your account. So it's another way you can work with your citation stuff. So um, besides our website, you can also check, <coughs> besides this, uh, I'm sorry, besides the end of web web page, you may also find some useful information on this web page. Besides these uh, tutorials, we also have the presentations created by our end of web librarian. Uh, she usually will have like regular workshop in the library every semester. This is the presentations uh, slides have been saved before. So besides those tutorial information, you can also find some online webinar workshop available offered by the vendor, and the web vendor, Thomas Ryder. They're available under help, and you can check out our database webinars web page. On this page, you can see all the upcoming workshops schedule. Okay, this is a schedule of this month, okay. Um, offered by the Thomas Ryder, the InnoWeb vendor. And they are free of charge. You just need to click on the link. And then scroll down to the InnoWeb part. Okay. And pick the time you would like to do it and to do an uh, online registration. You can watch this online workshop through the URL they provided, okay? It's free of charge and they offer uh, almost every month. Um, so this is another great resource for you to learn how to use in the web and to be the master of it. Okay, any questions? So if you have any question about citations and how to use the citation style guides,